Hi, my August 30th birthday babies. Come on in, because this video is all about you. Today, from the Secret Language of Birthdays book, I'm gonna be reading you the personality profile for people born on your birthday. Now, this may reinforce some beliefs you already have about yourself. It may also challenge you to change some of those aspects that are perhaps not working towards your highest good. Either way, I invite you to just be open. Um, not everything's gonna resonate with you. Whatever does resonate, take that and leave the rest. There are a lot of people born on August 30th and it's not gonna apply to everyone. If you want, you can even close your eyes. Let's get into it. All right, so August 30th is the day of the rock. The extremely capable people born on August 30th are rock solid where their strengths are concerned. Particularly good with money, they usually enjoy dealing with finances and take great pride in the successful management of company, personal, or family funds. Whatever their field of interest, most born on this day see tangible results in their work and prefer not to venture into speculative or unrealistic areas. Generally, the home of an August 30th person is well-ordered, comfortable, and carefully arranged to meet material needs and wants. Most August 30th people, however, are confident in their ability to handle most any situation, sometimes overly so. However, attracting people who become dependent on them due to their August 30th stability may prove to be an enormous load for them to bear. Indeed, able to shoulder great responsibilities, even August 30th people will one day reach their limit. If they feel a need to distance themselves from dependence, they will probably experience some measure of guilt. Therefore, an August 30th person, although flattered by hangers on, will eventually regret having encouraged them. If they become aware of what they have done and their true motives for doing so, they will have taken a step forward in their personal growth. The great confidence and self-possession of August 30th people is not necessarily the best thing for their children and mates. All kinds of inferiorities can manifest in those close to August 30th people, particularly in the material areas of life. The presence of a parent with the organizational skills of an August 30th person can be somewhat stifling and promote indecisiveness in their children. Therefore, parents born on August 30th must ensure that their children assume increasing but not crushing responsibilities around the house. Those born on this day should endeavor to teach their skills to their children and mates with an eye toward enhancing their abilities and making them more self-sufficient people. Although August 30th people often wish to set strict rules around the house, they have to fight any tendency to be over-authoritarian, inflexible, unaccepting, or unfair. August 30th people may be accused by others from time to time of being overly materialistic. Actually, however, it is mental organization and working systems that appeal to them, not a lust for property. Even those August 30th people unconcerned with money are generally more capable of organizing and directing everything from household, household chores to large scale projects. The pragmatic individuals born on this day are indeed ones to have around when tangible results Results are the goal. All right, I want you around. I have got some tangible results that are the goal. Um, but anyway, if you are, I'm very, really curious, if you're watching this as a child of an uh, August 30th person, um, let me know how you feel about them and what brought you here. Um, I say this because children come up a lot in the profiles of really strong kind of authoritarian uh birthdays and it's it's always advice given that you should not be too overbearing on your children and kind of um, let them lead their own lives and not put too much pressure on them so I'm curious if you're a child of an August 30th person what brought you here and if your birthday is on August 30th let me know in the comments what really hits you the most what you know don't overthink it what was the first thing that you were like yep I gotta work on that let me know. 
And if you're watching this on your actual birthday, cheers to you, happy birthday. Before we go, let me just give you a little advice, something you can take with you. Not that there wasn't already a lot of advice in your profile, but you get extra, extra advice just for you. Beware of fostering dependency in others. Teach your children to be self-sufficient. Be flexible when it comes to rules. Don't feel like you have to control every aspect of your environment. Cultivate your spiritual side and look beyond what the world has to offer. So good. So much for you to let meditate. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you know someone whose birthday is coming up, comment below so that I can give them a shout out on their video. Or if their video is already up, go ahead and tag them so that they can be on this journey of self-discovery and, and self-exploration just like you are. Thank you so much for watching.